First of all, can I welcome you all to the Berris and Evans Register Office. I have to inform you the place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. You are gathered here today to witness the joining in marriage of two people, David Allen Hasman and Jamie Lee Miller. If any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, it should be declared now. <laughs> Today, David and Jamie, you will exchange vows of marriage, which will unite you as husband and wife. These vows are a formal and public pledge of your love and a promise of a lifelong commitment to each other. Before you are joined in matrimony, it is my duty to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Although they may be short and simple, this in no way lessens its legal status to you or lessens the significance of your day. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of one man with one woman, voluntarily entered into for love to the exclusion of all others. David and Jane, before you make your vows to each other, you must first make a declaration to me to the effect that there is nothing in law to prevent you marrying each other. If you are free to marry each other, you should reply, I am, to the question I am about to put to you. I'll ask you first, David. Are you, David Allen Haswell, free lawfully to marry Jamie Lee Miller? I am. Now, Jamie. Are you, Jamie Lynn Miller, free lawfully to marry David Allen Haswell? I am. Now, David and Jamie contract their marriage before you're the witnesses. Would everyone please stand for the battle? I'd like to turn the face one another for me, please, and join both hands while you say your vows to each other. <laughs> okay. Start first with you, uh, David, if you repeat after me. I, David Allen Haswell. I, David Allen Haswell. Take you, Jamie Lynn Miller. Take you, Jamie Lynn Miller. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Now, Jamie. I, Jamie Lynn Miller. I, Jamie Lynn Miller. Take you, David Allen Haswell. Take you, David Allen Haswell. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. We have now come to the part of the service, long tradition, that when a man and woman commit themselves in marriage, but they seal that commitment with the giving and receiving of rings. So if the best man would like to step forward those rings. <laughs> okay, and place it onto the third finger of her left hand. Okay, just hold the ring in place and repeat after me, please, David. Jamie, I give you this ring. Jamie, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and affection. As, my, as a symbol of my love and affection. Commitment and respect. Commitment and respect. Now and always. Now and always. Okay, now if you pass Jamie David's ring, please. Thank you. Place on the third finger on his left hand. David, I give you this ring. David, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a lasting reminder. And as a lasting reminder. Of the vows we have made here today. Of the vows we have made here today. David and Jamie, you have both now made the declarations prescribed by law and have made a binding contract with each other in the presence of your assembled guests. Your marriage ceremony today has given your friends the opportunity to be here to celebrate your happiness and to impart your message of love and commitment. It now gives me the grace and pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. A round of applause for you.